All right, hello everybody. So uh, the start here looks a little different um, because I might have made a slight error. <laughs> I was pressing spacebar a little too early, and when you do that, instead of being able to switch a character, it puts you right on Isaac, and I, I simply press space one extra time without thinking about it. So now I have a run started, and I'm going to play it because I don't want to break uh, 18. And listen, if you don't like it, I'm sorry if you think that's a little uh, a little unfair. I, I try not to have this happen, you know, I don't think I've ever... I don't know if it's ever... Ha it's obviously going to be a rare occurrence, hopefully. And um, so, yeah, we're Isaac. Look at the stats. That's, uh, you know, there's a seed one more time. And that's, that's where I'm leaving that one off. I kind of... So I... Obviously a little, little uh, disappointed because in my mind now... You know, it's not entirely, it's not a pure Eden streak. But at the same time, there are actually odds that I get this start as Eden. Um, you know, I, I have started with a D6 before, and it's uncommon, but it also can be done. And so I'm not like, I'm not sweating it. I'm going to use the D6, you know, I, that's just how it be, what it do, baby. All right, I'm not... I'm not gonna go ahead and not use like a very fun item. <laughs> so for all intents and purposes, everybody, we're just gonna kind of pretend like, uh, you know, this is just an Eden start that turned out to be very similar to an Isaac start. That's that's the best I can do. Sorry, sorry if that bothers you, but you know, I uh, I think you'll forgive me in time. Now, honestly, little Loki, I don't actually hate at all. Uh, conjoined could be very good to, to shoot for here, and uh, when you've got a D6, you know you can be very picky. It's it's a it's a very unique item. It, it completely changes the way you can play a run. Actually, one of the few items actually that I will say almost night and day difference uh, from having. I'm gonna grab that spirit heart now. Night and day difference play style wise. You know when you can choose items the way you can choose with D6. Same with spin down. Uh, actually, spin down is a even better example because you know exactly what you're gonna get. Um, just only a matter of time on some of that. So, the reroll items in general are usually a run of their own. Usually, very unique uh, in the way uh, they're played, but almost always they're a good time. So, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys had a good week. Yeah. All right. That's what I like to see. And uh, maybe we get some red hearts to play that. Maybe we don't. School bag would be great. Because we could take, uh, take more than one space bar item here. With uh, D6, where our space bar item is pretty much locked away. You know, we're not going to... We're not going to get... That's exactly why you don't take the spirit hearts early on the floor. Because uh, random hits like that will happen. And uh, now I have half a spirit heart going into the floor where... If... Actually, where I get hit, then I lose uh, deal with the devil chances. So I'm definitely going to get hit in here. Uh, Gurglings is like my actual kryptonite. I, I simply cannot get through these guys without getting hit more than once. They're unreal. I mean, they're, the intuition on these gentlemen is just insane. I don't I don't know. So I hope you guys had a good week. Uh, it should be... Let me think about this. It should be... To... Tuesday potentially so after a weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I uh, My weekend's just starting so I get the uh, wonderful opportunity to play uh, one of my favorite games and You know, it's uh, anytime you can start like that, you know, you're doing something Something's going your way. So definitely feel that Beth's faith honestly a pretty solid uh, Trinket it especially early. We're gonna get four wisps just to kind of hang around with and this is a floor where I don't want, uh, there's, there's ways you can t view not using the D6 on this floor. You know, you could say, oh, you should have used it on the Loki, and, you know, you have a case there, but I'm fine. You know, D6 for me, and honestly, this one I could reroll. Uh, that's fine, but then I lose a Lucky Penny. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Adult, okay, well, I don't want to reroll Blood Bag, let's be real into this shovel which is we need to go deeper so i should have taken the lost coin oh okay a little hole. Hoo, 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 hoo. never mind it lost coin turned into super bandage which is great 
We are just so stacked in HP. Look at that. We got seven. We're going to have seven HP <laughs> by, the, by the second floor. Oh, what the what? Oh, my gosh. I'm Sorry. That might happen more than once. My game games on my computer have been, like, tabbing out. Not It's not officially tabbing out, but, like, games I'll play, like, I play Counter-Strike. And so that game will all of a sudden, my mouse will show up on the screen. And when I click, I have to click to get back into the game or... You know, stuff like that, which has been very annoying. And so, you know, I got to figure that out. Uh, Bob's Curse were taken. So, as I was saying, my philosophy with D6, you should never feel like if it's not used, it's wasted. Okay? Because, honestly, to just prevent complete garbage items is a very, a very wonderful strength to the item. But also, like, you know, just save it for a deal with the devil. If the deal with the devil is not bussing, just re-roll it. You know, don't... You don't need to reroll every single item until it's a quality four, until it's one of the best items in the game. You just need to get enough bad items out of the way so that you're balling. So also, check it out, man. Beth's Faith, completely solid damage up here. Got four Wisps to start this floor. Okay, three now, but they are awesome. You can tell. You can tell we're doing a lot of good damage with them. I feel like I'm doing a lot of good damage with them. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking at this uh, secret room potentially here. Uh, we'll try. See, I just thought this would blow it open. Honestly, I did. I am shocked that that did not open the other way around. That's actually crazy in my mind. <laughs> but, uh, okay. You're the boss game. I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Member cards of 100% take. Uh, especially with D6. I mean, listen. We could find incredible items down here. At obviously not cheap. Okay, they're not cheap. But uh, they will be wonderful. So we got we got to find a way to get a lot of money because those items down there. I've seen secret heart a sacred heart in there. I've seen you see tons of stuff down there. All right, we we uh, we got some priorities for sure. And uh, Ragman is as good a time as any to use his devil card. You know, it's not not going to gain any interest the longer we hold on to it. And man, oh man, we're off to the races. I'm not gonna. Not going to sugarcoat it any other way. Ooh, another speed up is just oh so tempting. And uh, this is where you say, yeah, we're absolutely going to hit the reroll button. Um, however, we we actually do want the book first because the deal with Devil Precedent is more important to me. Uh, the book, than being bookworm. I mean, yeah, bookworm's fine. Got Sack Dagger, which honestly, if we get Nod Leaf, just became one of the best items we could have ever hoped for. So... I feel good about that. I also feel good about 1.6 speed. And uh, this is good floor. Good floor all around. Now we rock and roll. So yeah, I uh, let's talk here. Um, let's see. I, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I have started watching a show called Ted Lasso. And uh, I got to tell you, it's, you know, I obviously, oh, that's tempting. First... For sports, movies, and you know, media and stuff, obviously I'm probably the target demographic. I'm pretty into it. Um, <laughs> so, just with that, you know, in mind, I would recommend the show. It's not as much sports as I could handle. I mean, it's you know, at least right now, not a whole lot of sports actually going on in that show. Just, just about uh, someone who starts as a head coach in a new club and for soccer. And uh, it's it's a very I don't really need to say too much for it. I mean, I I think most people have heard about the show at the very least. But uh, so I've been getting into that, watching it, and I really enjoy it. I love the uh, I love it actually in its own way. Getting into the curse room is a blessing for free, and another spider room. I'm starting to believe that that's just all I'm gonna find in there. So, and I'm not I don't actually have that many streaming services. If we're talking about shows, I uh, I have b actually like none. Apple TV I bought for the month, just so I could watch the show and then I'll be done with it. Um, listen, streaming services are like so crazy right now. Like if you think about it, like having to spend ten bucks here, ten bucks there, ten bucks there, ten. Like I can't, you know, who who in their right mind can buy every single streaming service? We just I completely hate that when I was younger, it was cable. And so you had pretty much everything on there, just a million different channels. And then 
it turned into streaming services mainly i remember netflix being like the big one like yo this is so sick oh my gosh you get to stream you know and netflix and chill okay we all we all we all gonna pretend like we don't remember that but we all remember that okay don't 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 act like you're better than anyone okay we were all there for that we let that happen and then you know just hulu kind of became big and I think Peacock is really the start of the end for me. I, I just, it's too crazy, like how many different streaming services I'm expected to have just to watch a good amount of TV. I mean, that's just crazy. I, honestly, crazy to me. That's my opinion. If you feel differently, I would love to know if someone actually disagrees with that. I feel like that's a pretty easily acceptable opinion of like yo we're all paying too much for for tv right now i think everyone would probably agree with me but you know i love to i love to talk so figure i'll just keep doing it uh solo losses for three cents totally great piggy bank oh i was thinking we could pick it up right there and we still might nope not yet piggy bank we want it's going to turn IV bags into insane amounts of cash. Blood banks specifically, but if we're stuck with the IV bag. You know, being able to take all six of these Red Hearts containers and turn them into, like, a million dollars is really awesome. So we're going to look to do that. And with one more penny, we actually have a good, we have, we have a good chance. We get one more penny, that's for sure. Solo loss is also worth picking up. It's three cents and it would save me on a deal with the devil purchase at some point. So I think that's totally worth. Now I am realizing without my Beth's Wisps here that uh, we have not actually received any damage, direct damage to Isaac's stat ups, which can kind of make a run draw out and I'm trying to not do that um okay let's go here we only got oh I don't want Cuba meat nothing but respect to my Cuba meat enjoyers on any given Sunday I'm with you but not today it can't be today I uh, I just need well I mean maybe I do take it and reroll BBF because I don't want big beautiful fly Honestly, I don't. Uh, and I won't take it, so maybe I will go reroll it. And actually, you know what I can do as well? Hmm. I can also go play that. Oh, I have 21 cents, but it's for piggy bank. Ah! Ooh! All three are absolutely great items. I'm totally interested in all of them, so we're going to keep it simple this time around. All right. Let's go ahead and eventually take care of these spiders. Now we go yum, yum, yum. So big damage up there to speed up also. Gonna be helpful. And uh, what are we what are we looking at right now? There's no conceivable way to get piggy bank, or is that not the case? I mean there is a golden chest right here. Okay, well there you go. I think it's better uh, than playing this guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I need to keep my money up because I'm trying to get an arcade on the next floor. Oh! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> There's Magic Mush. It's a good time to be alive, boys. That's what we do it for, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh. You gotta love it. You got to love it. So we've got... We've got a magic mush run on our hands, which means we are absolutely geeked off the Zaza, I believe the kids say these days. And, uh, yeah. Alright, Ball Bandages, you're the least of my problems right now, okay? I am on a higher plane of existence. There's our arcade. Woo! Double blood banks is really solid. Why? Uh, because if one poops out too early, I can always uh, 
keep on keeping on on the other one. Lucky Penny here. All right, when it rains, it pours, man. Isaac knows how to really pile on. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, let's, let's get this thing crazy. I'm ready for it. So I know what I said about D6. You know, you don't... It's not going to be an item that you just use to reroll into quality four items. And I know <laughs> that's the exact opposite thing of what happened. But, you know, that's that's how it works, all right? If, if, I, if I was trying to make a point, the game, no matter even to benefit me in the long... In the short, will always make a point to, you know... You're never really going to know what you get until you get it, so... There's no better example than than what we've just seen here today. Now, greeds are honestly not the worst thing in the world. Membership card, a very stellar item, stays even though a greed is on that shop. So, we're not going to come home without a look at something. We're going to at least see. And it could be really good. And honestly, it's not, but we could reroll it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take that. Uh, it's HP, but it's also the tiers up that I'm looking for. Uh, we are kind of... I actually do... I was just about to say I wish I had stem cells, but that's just so not true because that turned into uh, magic mush. So, can't really wish for... Can't really wish for that while still being, uh, <laughs> you know, the proud owner of one of the better items of the game of all time. So... And, yep, we're collecting red hearts because I am still trying to get a million bajillion dollars. And you guys saw, man, I just I just turned a huge profit thanks to the bank of pigs that I've got. And I'm, I'm thinking 99 cents is maybe possible on this floor. It's always kind of hard to tell. Um, I'm going to try. But leaving with any large amount of money is going to be good for business. So, honestly... Uh, Whatever happens, happens. And we got up to 56. That's really good. Um, I need charges. Okay. I need charges because I want to go into the boss with at least enough of a charge to go to a deal with the devil. So, like, last floor, I did get a deal with the devil on 36%. Do I think it's going to happen again? I mean, how many times do I have to say it before you really believe? Oh! <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, I'm taking Nod Leaf. It's one of my favorite items of all time. I just freaking mentioned it. It's one of those runs. It is one of those runs, man. I can't, I can't escape it. I've got good luck here. And uh, you know, you could, you could choose to feel badly because it's. Oh, oh, we got another deal with the devil here. Okay, what's inside, brother Bob? I mean, of all things. I guess for three spirit hearts we take him, and then we reroll this into a latch key. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do some. Let's do some thinking. I don't know if I want to fight the boss trap room. It's pretty greedy, but I could actually get a full charge by doing it if I get enough. If this goes up a couple more rooms. It does. And uh, we're going to... Let's see. Uh, so the math doesn't work out. We're going to be one shy of a charge. Unless there's combat in the curse room. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to risk dying in the boss trap room. So I'm not going to. That's my choice. That's my devotion. Mainly I was thinking if we could get it... Uh, it is in this chance machine here to start paying. Uh, we could kind of have a three three item pedestal reroll, and I will see what the next item is. Lodestone's really good, so I'm gonna try and get it. If I don't, by like forty five cents, I'm gonna walk. Okay, I mean, and D seven is actually uh, actually not gonna do anything for us. I'm not interested, but. Thank you very much. Very great arcade. Very great floor in general. And we're we're moving. Let's see. Oh, how have I st how am I still like not even close to boss rush? Where, where did the time go, guys? What what happened here? Uh, yeah, we'll we'll buy a booster pack at this point. Two hearts, two clubs, very good. 
Emperor. What does this do at this point? Just gives me one. Okay, fair enough. I like Emperor cards. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like Emperor cards. And I was about to say, because they can teleport me out of danger, i.e. I won't have to fight the boss chap. Boss challenge room. Um, so this actually does nothing for us, unfortunately. It paid for our admission, but it did give us a couple extra pennies, so. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Uh, this is, this is absolutely greedy. And uh, this is exactly how you turn a dynamite run into a complete mistake. So let's, let's see what we got. It's dinner, it's an HP up, which means we fight here. We're not scared. Got a lot of hits left. It, it won't be spirit heart hits, but I'm living. Now, I saw Perfections on the floor. You kind of have to wonder if it's a run where you want to hold on to Perfection. And honestly, knowing what I know about me, it, I won't hold on to it very long. So I... I'm gonna, <laughs> not the best dodge of my career. Uh, but I'm going to hold off on that. And we got the charge. We got the, we got the D6 charge. So I will follow through on my... Uh, you know, my theory here of getting a high, high caliber item pedestal reroll factory, but I'm going to pay a million dollars for D7 first. This is just bizarre. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> is this going to be worth it? You guys all know it's not going to be worth it, but you gotta do it. All right, there we go. Yep, uh, Hollowed Ground and Lil Gertie. Very good. So that uh, that vending machine was never gonna pay out. That, sorry, donation machine. All right, and I say donation, but it's a blood bank is really what it is. All right, let's rock and roll. We are uh, leaving little puddles of pee because I'm just so excited about the run. And honestly, we can't really die. I cannot even believe I just said that out loud, but we, theoretically, if a room is that difficult, I will just stand still and uh, not leave. Not leave will take the wheel from that point on, so. In case you thought I'd lost my mind, I just wanted to make sure you all knew I totally have. Lil Gertie's honestly pretty solid. Uh, he's got, he's got the gumption that you need on any run. Also, complete aimbot cheater, but we're not going to get into that today. I'm just glad he's on our side. Whoa. A lot of skellies in here. Now, what are we hoping for on this floor? It's Necropolis 1. I'm fine with no deal with the devil, but only because, you know, we're kind of balling no matter what happens here. I love the 2.0 speed though, that is actually insanely good, especially this early in a run. Ooh, Stigmata, listen, let's not overthink it. Um, we are going to Emperor. No, I'm not going on this floor, let's not be silly. Would have liked to see Smarok there actually, because the tears up would have been more valuable than the damage up. And I think we are above 2.0 speed. I think if we took Small Rock, it would not be the full speed down at this point. Especially if we had Horror Babylon active, I know for a fact we would be over. And so, we'd still be at 2.0 speed. And I'm starting to think this is the way to the boss. And we're going to have to backtrack for anything else. And unfortunately, I'm right. Oh, but we've already seen the item room. All we need is the shop with... The member card that's still gonna be good, but it's not. Uh, I, for some reason, kind of forgot we already been to the item room. And double viz when they're not moving is actually pretty easy boss fight. So old bandage is insanely good, one of the best HP ups in the game. Uh, when you get hit, it has a chance to drop red hearts, which you know work really well when you're playing a blood bank. When you're using IV bag, you know it's got well, hello, it's got insanely good potential for uh, proliferation of currency stacking in this game. Lodestone, I've come around on. I used to think it was not very good. 
And uh, honestly, that's not true. It is good. It's just not like stupidly good. You know, it's it's it works in this. It works very similar to a homing. Like it does give you partial homing. It makes other enemies kind of trip on themselves to mess with each other. And anytime you can mess with enemy pathing is not always gonna work out for you, but it can be pretty helpful at times. Now, I think 9 volts is absolutely a pickup here you take with D6, and PhD is also certainly an item you pick up with, the, with this uh, current meta. A tele pills? Tele. Tele friend? Tell, tell us somebody who cares. And I need to get 9 volt. Gotta do it. Oh. No. That's not how you do it. Let's see. Is there any. Any chance I can get some money? Yeah, I can get hit, and I would get money with piggy bank, but I don't want to lose my sweet, sweet uh, spirit hearts that I worked so hard to cultivate. Oh yeah, range ups across the board. So one of those, knowing the game, one of those is a range down, and I'm glad I have PhD now, because that's just twice the range I would have had nothing before. So thank you, PhD coming up huge we're gonna it's really not worth blowing up the donation machine is a don't really want to do that on this run I like to reserve that for harder runs where my options are far more limited so I'm gonna go ahead and just Ooh. thank you game I'm gonna go ahead and say no I mean I I think anybody here is totally correct to try and get P any of the items you would have picked up there, I think you could make a case for. 9 volt, obviously incredibly good uh, for D6. You know, we get faster turnarounds on the item. It also gives me a charge. So if I had other item pedestals to left be rerolled, uh, we could have done it in, you know, in style. So that's one thing to consider there. Another thing is Mom's Key is insanely good. It's really, really good. I mean, it turns turns you into basically a consumable printer. You're never gonna be out of consumables. You're gonna get so many from every chest. It's just insanely uh, exponential for like keys and bombs and whatnot. So in that sense too, it's another good one to take. But because we're so late in the run, and when I say late, I don't mean end of the game, but late when I think about how I can use consumables, keys and bombs, we're not gonna be using on a floor-to-floor -floor basis anymore to open rooms. You know, I know we're gonna have item rooms and shops to get through on on these floors. It's not gonna be the case for very much longer. D1, hello, uh, your young, this D6's little brother, which turns into Sharp Straw, which I, it's a really good space bar item, isn't it? It really is. And with nine volt, that would have been insanely good. I would have actually probably taken that, um, actually, to be honest with you over my d6 even that's how good that is so let's get money and i will do you one better we will be smart about this if you get hit within hollowed ground you have a chance to negate damage and so as you just saw as you just saw as you just saw <laughs> um a blood bank is like a peanut butter jelly combo for me at the current moment in time i've got a lot of things working for me uh basically i'm gonna get as much money of, out of this thing as it will allow me to do and I cannot believe how many times I just avoided damage there but uh, that's insane there we go we finally got hit at least down to four of Babylon is that 99 cents oh yeah you know that's 99 cents thank you thank you sir uh, we're gonna definitely go to our shop here. I really truly do hope there's a reroll machine in the uh, Basement because we're gonna be able to afford a lot of stuff on this floor. Oh This could be a really good floor with keepers sack in tow. I think the potential here is Astronomically high. Okay Okay, boys and girls we are going to We're gonna go crazy on this floor uh, stats wise we're not oh deep pockets means 99.99 cents which is good for business doesn't matter who you are bogo bombs it doesn't matter what i'm buying at this point we just need to spend money any way we can i feel that way about the jar because 
Why do I feel that way about the jar? I have a reroll item. Any pedestals I have down here, I will be able to turn to something else eventually. Now, I should grab humbling bundle. Oh, okay. I gotta go. Um, I will see you guys all when I pick up this run in a little bit. Alright, welcome back everybody. Let's finish this one. It's a good one. It is a crazy good one. Let's see, where are we? We're depths two. And we just picked up Keeper's Sack, so we are trying to get as much money as humanly possible out of this machine. Ideally, it stays alive forever and never breaks, and we get nine, 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 nine pennies. But it doesn't always work out that way. I'm fine with that V-Bag as well. You know, we're kind of due for it. We are due for it. And we are just getting absolutely carried here with all this money. What a wonderful combo this was. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. So, we have a lot to do here. Whoa. And I still should, I, you know what I should do is I should go pick up hum Humbling Bundle. Because if it works with... The donation machine the blood bank machine I'm gonna be getting even more money and uh, you know let's just keep on seeing what we can get in here mystery gift is wonderful because it's mom's purse which honestly take it or leave it right I'm gonna leave it not really uh, uh, ooh, oh for some reason I combined the black powder and candle together in my mind for black candle but uh, that's not necessarily how it works. 18 cents for, I guess, an item reroll pedestal at this point is kind of what I'm paying for. I can live with that. Okay. And, uh, ooh. Yeah, this is the trick that we want. And um, <laughs> we're going to get 15 cents to do that. So, let's roll. Well, I don't even remember what was in here. Oh, yeah, sharp straw. So, as you can see, I mean, I'm picking up a pretty broken run that I'm leaving for, yeah, there's Humbling Bundle doing its thing. Well, I gotta say, the big MVP on this floor actually has got to go to this blood bank. I mean, it never broke until just now. That's insane. So I think with this, I actually will always take damage. Oh no, I don't. Whoa, that's interesting. Did not know that was a thing. <laughs> Isaac's still dancing, Isaac's still, very much love and life over there. I there's a little bit more micromanage to do. Uh, we're gonna grab this so we can re-roll, uh, re-roll, and uh, give me this. Thank you. And we're gonna do this, and we're gonna send them all to the re-roll factory for more options. Charge baby, alabaster box, and deck of cards. Um, some of these are okay. Some of them are kind of unusable at this point. We don't really need more options because we. this is the last item we, we're ever going to see. And so at that point, it's like, well, oh, okay. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do was leave the golden pennies because I can play. I can still get 99 cents, 999 cents from this. I just need to get kind of lucky. Uh, you just go like this and you, and you get plays. See what I'm doing? And now I've got red hearts to play. And you sit here and you old bandage and you just... This is uh, this is what Isaac's all about, boys. <laughs> oh, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> ah! Kind of be careful. You don't want to actually kill yourself in this room. Um, but uh, this is 99. I, you know what? I'll, I'll do it. I will put my money where my mouth is. You can get 999 cents from this room. I'll show you. I mean it. I'm good for it. Look at me go. This is what we play, boys. This is what we do it for. Lucky Penny. Hello. I am 
I am... <laughs> oh, this is incredible. We'll just keep her rolling, though. Press spacebar as hard as I can here. Keep her going. I gotta tell you, this is probably the most broken run of 2024. I can almost... I mean, this is the most broken run of 2024. You can do this with... I will simplify it to only a few items, okay? It's either Bloody Penny or Hallowed Penny. Sorry. I know that's probably annoying for some. We can actually set it back up out here. But we're not listening to D6 music. So this... All you need is uh, Old Bandage. So... Hollowed Ground IV Bag is what you're seeing most prevalently. Um, you could also, to expand, get Old Bandage, Gimpy, and Hallowed Penny, or sorry, Blessed Penny, or Bloody Penny. Piggy Bank to increase the speed at which I make this money, and uh, Humbling Bundle to increase the speed at which I make this money, but, I mean, you guys are looking at it, it's infinite. I will take IV bag instead of D6. <laughs> Is that stupid? Of course that's stupid. But if we did a rerun, I could rerun. <laughs> I mean, I could. I honestly could. Um, this run is so stupid. Thank you, Isaac. This run is just so crazy. <laughs> oh, me oh my. So, at the end of the day, we got stats by using Keeper's Sack there to get a few more items. Pay for a few more items. And that's... No, that's not a lucky penny? Okay. I misunderstood the assignment. Ooh, I could bring myself down to one heart and go in there. Ow. See, I'm not really sure what more there is to do on this run. You know, we kind of, we actually found, you could, you could make this a complete disgusting game break at pretty much any point past here. If I keep IV bag, I it's that's what it is. It would be a complete game break. Um, but we wouldn't be able to reroll items anymore. Do we care about that at this point? I mean, not really. Uh, so this doesn't do anything for me, unfortunately. But I tell you what, guys, because we're not gonna reroll, I will grab IV bag. Just to make it so, uh, well, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. Or we're not even going to reroll the item. We're just going to, we're going to go. We're going to hope for a deal with the devil. And if we don't get it, we're going to be just fine. I could actually sack dagger this fight. I think. Yeah, because he's going to stomp and uh, sack dagger is going to love that. All that time I was keeping meat. So yeah, I uh, <laughs> have a completely unbelievable run here. That'll that'll do her. Uh, later, bozo. We will take Polaroid. I know. I'm sorry if you really had your hopes up for a rerun, but I'm already gonna have to put this in a video editor anyway to combine the two pieces of uh, this run, which. Obviously, not a very big deal, but uh, I'm not I'm not sure how long the run is by doing that, so I can't say for sure. Oh, shot speed up is absolutely what we want there. Oh, oh, <laughs> looks well, like you. And I'm actually not interested. How I'm not interested in either of the rest of these two, so we're gonna. Ooh. Goat head, why the heck not? Why the heck not? Uh, why to begin with is a really good question, right? Because 
you know, there's only one more deal with the devil. Yeah, well, I want to get it, so. <laughs> there's your answer. Now I'm actually kicking myself for not doing the rerun, because we would have goat head. <laughs> Which uh, would be really good. I mean, but. Unfortunately, I can't say that this run... I mean, I just wish I had it on Eden. I wish I just had the D6 on Eden. I really do. I feel pretty... It's a bummer that this run is as wonderful as it is, but at the same time, I'm definitely going to enjoy it because it's, it's rare. It's rare to have something this broken still in Repentance. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. I think the secret room might actually be right here. Oh wait, I already checked. <laughs> Where it is, I think it's right here. Yeah. Oh, it actually is. Hello. Yuck. Ooh, wait a minute. We have a reroll here in a curse in a secret room. Uh, marbles is of actual meme, but we've got it. Yeah, I mean, we're just kind of coasting. I'm trying to see, excuse me, I'm trying to see if I can re-roll that Seeker Remindment into something magical. I don't really know what I'd hope for at this point, but, you know, maybe Glitch Crown. <laughs> for starters, is that too much to ask? <laughs> or, uh, yeah, I was going to say C-section, but I don't actually think that's a secret room item pool item. Although it might be. Jury is out. I'm not interested in the vault, and I don't think you should be either, viewer. I think we can all say that those rooms are just the definition of poop. Poo poo garbage. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what our uh, wonderful boss room has in store. I know we won't get an item, but we will get the deal with the devil. Which will hopefully not have Krampus. Although at this point, you know, I would be, I mean, it, let's say I got Lump of Coal, I'd be totally alright with that. Ooh. I could try and play for the Guppy. <laughs> the Guppy Dream. Why has this been. That fist has been in like so many of these deals to the devil, I think. I may be wrong. But I may also be right. Uh, Blood Oath too risky at this point. Uh, but Rotten Baby conjoined is just what the doctor ordered. So, yep, that's wonderful. And we'll go get raw liver at this point. We traded in all of our HP, so I I knew we had liver on the floor, uh, which is why I wasn't that nervous to go for the play. And uh, you know, Greed's Gullet, it might because I'm not spending any more money. It might have actually been really good. I don't know if it actually works with. I, I'm pretty sure it actually doesn't work with. Deep pockets, which is a shame. Uh, it would be well. I, it might. I honestly don't know. What Greed's Gullet does, the item I passed up on pretty early in that secret room, is for every twenty-five cents your character's holding, you get an HP container, a red heart container that sits there as and it functions as real HP. You can trade it away and everything, but uh, the second you lose that money, it goes away. So, because I'm not going to be spending any more money. It actually would have been a really good play to pick that up, just to see. Because no matter what, it would have been 4 HP instead of 4 HP, because I think you get 4 at the max at 99 cents. So, bit of a misplay there, but I figure I should at least tell you so you all can make the correct play. I'm not really interested in ditching Blessed Penny. AKA the best trinket of all time. I like seeing all the keys because we've got the chests coming up and maybe we're gonna get a lot of chests. Ooh. Swallowed Penny works really well with Blessed Penny. But uh, we're not we not we haven't swallowed Blessed Penny yet, so I can't really make that call. Oh <laughs> um Okay, well, hey, this is all we need. 
This is all anybody ever needs around here. <laughs> oh no. Took the full health one HP hit too early, you know what? That's alright. A blood bag, huh? Um, honestly, we'll take it. For no real reason. Um, but honestly, like, when it comes to the chests, like, it's a horse apiece at this point. Not too worried about it. I gotta say, I don't know if I really talked enough about it, because we got it so late on the run, but Keeper's Sack was absolutely instrumental in such a large amount of stats for this run. You know, it gave us a ton of damage range and speeds. Speed we never actually needed, but um, we got it. Now at this point, you could make the argument to just sit still and let Isaac do his thing with Sack Dagger, but I don't actually know if he gets close to you on teleport, so I'm not actually sure I'd be willing to sit through that to find out. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, Seraphim, hello. We also got, hey, love the host hat. I also love Peeper. And I'll tell you why I love Peeper. Because it's on any room now, I could... Oh. Yeah, Loki Swarms is going to be absolutely wizard for this run. <laughs> Once Lodestone hits, uh, we get an incredible damage boost for part of a floor, part of a room. Gurglings, we meet again, only this time... This time's different. <laughs> now, uh, the age-old question of, is this a delirium run? I'm gonna have to say respectfully... Well... Actually, Smartfly kind of uh, says yes. All I need to do is get hit once, and then leave my computer alone for like 20 minutes. And you guys could all just watch me uh, kill Delirium. How's that for fun, huh? <laughs> we could become Bob, too. We need his brain. Alright. Turns into... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This one's... This is definitely the run to beat for 2024. No quit. Ow. No. Ooh. So, Mom's Eye works in conjunction with Loki's horns, at least it used to, where if you had both of those items together, you'd always be shooting at all four directions every shot. Um, I am unaware if it still works that way. Oh, yeah. Hello, Bozo. Hello, Bozo. Boy, we have an overpowering run here on any front. I'm I'm actually excited. I hope the Delirium Portal spawns, because I will definitely do it. Uh, Epiphora turns into Lead Pencil, which is just better in my uh, current state. Alright, Blue Babe, you are like toast to the extreme here. <laughs> oh, shame. Well, the Delirium Portal didn't actually spawn, but there's your seed. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I will 100% be more careful in clicking Eden. Honestly, it's funny because I worry about doing that so often um, that you think it would never happen, but there you have it. So. Uh, next run is Eden. Count on it. And uh, that'll be for 20. So I'll see you all for that one.